good afternoon everyone uh first of all i'd like to talk about uh agriculture and the potential it has to transform uh, african farmers in the rural areas because that's where the development is supposed to start from to put an end to rural airbird migration so first of all we fly agree okay we fly agree was formed by two ivorians i'm actually from zambia and i'm the aerospace engineer at we fly agree so it was formed by two Ivorians who saw a need to increase visibility in agriculture. So first of all, our CEO's father has a plantation, and he saw that every time he didn't have visibility on his plantation, his workers would send uh, images that are not saying the truth of what's happening on the ground. So that's how the son decided to buy a drone. And with this drone, he was able to um, give positive feedback to the father with drone data that was able to enhance his uh, view of his plantation. So first of all, uh, why do we choose agriculture as the main center for innovation in Africa? It's because, you know, uh, if you look at the GDP of Cote d'Ivoire particularly, agriculture has such a huge impact to the economy. Why not digitize it so that we can multiply the production and increase the livelihoods of the local farmers? So, Sorry, sorry. Uh, so, so our main mission is to empower local farmers. So we develop solutions in-house, whereby we're able to uh, go to the local farmers and tell them, look, bring your traditional methods of agriculture, and let's bridge them together with the digital world. So with the digital world, we're able to give them uh, aerial mapping, give them the real-time data that they need to know on what's really happening on their field, and also using our mobile applications, we're, also to, we're able to help them detect diseases, and with agronomists, they help them know on what are the best agricultural practices methods that they can use in the agricultural field. And with drones, we give them the, the upper hand of knowing, for instance, how widespread has a disease, uh, how widespread is a disease on a plantation. So we give them with the aerial mapping and also with geolocalized plantation so that everyone has confidence in knowing that my plantation has these exact parameters. And if you want to get a loan, for instance, companies want to know, they, want, they need uh, assurance that whatever amount that they invest in you, truly that land belongs to you. So we try to create ownership that is geolocalized and try to introduce our farmers to the market because most of them do not have that access to finance, but they have the agriculture uh, ability. And so uh, we created a, a mobile application that enables you to manage your uh, farmers right on the plantation when you're in your office. So all you need to do is they'll sign up, create a profile like Facebook, but it's on our application. So you'll be able to uh, talk to your uh, plantation uh, workers and find out what they're doing exactly. Um, by the way, you don't need, really need to know how to speak French or the uh, formal languages, English. You can speak in your local language, which is very important, you know. Being able to present the technology according to the language that the local farmers understand. So that's the gap we try to bridge together. So these are the things that we do, like aerial mapping. So this is a rubber plantation that you've seen. So uh, with this rubber plantation, we're able to geotag your plantation, weather notifications over periodic times to know what exactly is happening on your land, exact measurement, orthographic, and digital, digital terrain models too. Oh my God, okay. Uh, shit. Sorry. Something is wrong. Okay, so this is virtual reality. So using our platform, you can be a CEO, like in, in African agriculture or diaspora, and you want to know the progress on your plantation. So all you need to do is put on the task and you'll be able to have an immersive experience through a plantation and assess the progress of a plantation. And even to attract the African youth into uh, agriculture, because most of them think it's a daily job, but actually it is a, a, a job that has the potential to transform the continent at large. So that's why we introduce virtual reality, so that from the comfort of your home, you're able to immersively enter your plantation. So we want to connect the farmers to the ecosystem of finance, which is very important too. 
So it's not only giving them the right tools to identify diseases and how to increase their yield, but also for them to have a credit score so that they can have access to loans. That is to enhance their livelihood at the end of the day. So, oh, I skip a page. Okay, so, oh, again, skip. Uh, sorry about it, I'm being nervous. So. Yeah, so, so what you're seeing here, so we usually go to the rural areas. Uh, we go to the rural areas, and this is what you're seeing here. We have workshops where the heads of cooperatives, which can be up to maybe they'll have 1,500 farmers under them. So we'll train the heads of cooperatives how to use uh, farm management tools, uh, the software that we develop in-house. And you can see me here, and I'm with the agronomist sometimes. So we we'll literally go on the ground, delimit, get the GPS points so that you can geolocalize the plantation, and then you can see it on Google Maps and know where your map is and the exact perimeters. Because we discovered that you know land disputes in Africa is a big problem. If you can't designate the exact uh, location of your plantation and you enter into your friend's field, that thing can cause wars and ethnic problems, you know. So because of that, we decided to digitize everything so that it's formal and uh, ownership is more uh, professional. So um, what's the value chain? So for us, our strategic value chain, chain ecosystem is because we want to link uh, the, the, the farmer up to the buyer, as you can see here, health insurance, you want to give them health insurance too in the end, you know, because many things happen on plantation, even nutrition, transmission, uh, uh, transformation. You not only want them to produce uh, the food into just raw food, but how can you add value to it? Just I've seen here in Cote d'Ivoire, usually they're promoting cocoa to chocolate, manufacturing locally. That's very good because, you know, when, the more you increase the value chain of products in Africa, the more um, our exports from Africa will be more valuable to the world, not just raw materials, because we have to uh, transform from exporting just raw materials. It's not uh, profitable in the long term for African development. So impacts uh, uh, increasing farmer revenue, their yields, creating jobs, even the youth, we, we always bring them on board by training them freely, uh, as much as they are our customers, we also try to uh, pass on the skills that we have. Okay. So uh, these are some of the awards that we got. African Startup Forum, uh, Demo Africa. Let's see. Um, Sense Africa, Zambia, Harvard Business School, and Africa Cybersecurity Conference. And yeah, so it's, this is our CEO. This is Joseph that you can see on the middle there. Yeah. So... Person, on a personal level, um, okay, no, I think I'll skip five minutes, right? Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm so nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Yeah. And um, I'm going to take a couple of, I'm going to ask you a few yeah. questions. One is just, I just want those glasses, those virtual reality glasses. Okay. That's, uh -huh. <laughs> that's what's interesting me. Um, but um, I want to understand clearly, for the farmer, what do I buy? I have a farm. I want all of these wonderful services that you have uh, proposed. What is it that I buy? Is it a service? Do I, do I log on to a platform? W what do I do? OK, first of all, uh, you give us a call and tell us, for instance, you need visibility on your land. Yes. And you need maybe uh, someone to advise you on how well best you can manage your plantation, yes. how to plan it. Yes. Uh, we'll do maybe soil analysis on your plantation and we'll tell you, okay, for this section of plantation, due to the fertility level, you should plant this. Okay. So such advice like that. Okay. So, but the others who just want visibility and because uh, uh, sometimes uh, if you look at the diaspora, sometimes we do diaspora. So many African diaspora want to invest in African agriculture, mm -hmm. but the supervisors who are on the ground will send fake pictures yeah. to back to them. And the yeah. guys will be sending money, they come back after five years, there's no progress. Yeah. So uh, we, uh, on a, periodically, we'll go there with the drones, get the data for you, and you, while you're in France or any other country, put on your VR glasses, you'll be able to see the progress in your plantation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how have you packaged your product? Is this something that 
I buy one service at a time? Is it a bundle? Do I have options? How does it work? Okay, first of all, it's a package. So it depends of whether you're an organization or a cooperative with many farmers under you or just one big, large company. For instance, okay. like uh, with a rubber company, it has like 1,500 hectares. Okay. So for them, the price will be based on the, how uh, safe the area is, how accessible, and the challenges that we face on the ground, and what do they really need. Because some of them don't need our agronomy services, okay. but they just need the mapping, that's all. Okay. They have their own agronomists. Okay, so yeah. it's tailored to whatever... According to the customers' my, needs. My, yeah. my needs yeah. are. And then uh, I'm coming to your to your stand because the drone is here, so you will be able to see the drone. We can't fly it, I think, because no, no, of, I don't fly it because of <laughs> regulations so and, and, and things. And but explain. we're going to be able to see the drone. And, um, and then when I come to your stand, you tell me how a Zambian and two Ivorians. I love the way these young Africans have no borders. Huh? Yeah, They're yeah. just uh, going all over the continent and, and working together. So please give Mr. Mwenda a hand again. We fly agri.